So today what I'm going to build is a snowboard rack. Um, I've seen a few of them on YouTube, but they're just not great at explaining and not exactly what I wanted. So I took bits and pieces of what other people did and just kind of did my own thing. Um, tools we're going to need, um, circular saw, impact, drill, jigsaw, quick square, tape measure, pencil, and then also a uh, table saw will make it really easy. What I'm going to use is three quarter inch MDF and I'm just gonna cut those up and hang them on the wall and this should be able to hold eight snowboards. I actually haven't tried it yet. So we're just gonna cross our fingers and hope it works. Okay, so what I have is I'm gonna rip two of these three quarter inch MDFs. I have eight inches wide by 67 and a half. Yep, 67 and a half. And what I'm going to do is come along the edge here and mark off 8 inch. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and 64. And then that's where we're going to measure for our holes and then come here at the quick squicker, come over right at five inches. And we'll make a little X marks the spot. That's where we're gonna for drill. Okay, so we have all our marks made where we're going to put our drill. So what we're going to do, cover one inch, stick it right on there. Make sure you move your board so you don't go into the other your saw holes. Okay, now we've got all those drilled. Kind of dust it off a little bit. All right. And then now we're going to mark our cuts. And so what I did is I'm going to do a 45 degree. So I have right here your pivot point and then the 45 degree mark in line. And then just mark kind of over the edge of the hole is so you can make it cut. And then with this one, you're gonna have to kind of guess because my quick square is not quite long enough.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take the circular saw and just basically cut the lines as far as I can without cutting too far into the hole. And then I'll take the jigsaw and finish it up. All right, so now I got both of these cut. Um, they line up pretty good. Um, this MDF isn't probably the greatest thing to be using for this, but it's what I had. Um, some shelves that were built. Um, this was left over and it's sturdy stuff and it works. So um, it would look better if it was like a wood, um, but this is what I got and it's just gonna be in my shop. So I'm not really caring what it looks like too much. So now what I need to do is the in-between pieces. I'm gonna go 36 inches between them and then a four inch um, piece of MDF. And so I can at least get two studs. Uh, it'll be 32 inches apart. Um, and then I'm gonna hang it on my wall. So I'll go ahead and get the two pieces ripped and then get this thing put together. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip two of these pieces, 36 inches by four inches. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is get things ready to screw it all together. Um, we've got all four pieces, the two sides, and then the two um, that are gonna hold them together, which will actually attach it to the wall. I'm gonna use cabinet screws to attach it to the wall. Um, and then I'm going to be using these screws to attach the four pieces together. Um, so what I'm gonna do is measure, we're gonna go with 14, and 18 because the four inch rip and then 42 by 46 and then we're going to grab our drill with countersink put in a couple of holes so we got three quarter inch to work with so be good Get them started so it's easier. Don't put them so they're poking through. Okay, so this one's ready to go. We'll get the other one set up and we'll put them together. All right, so now we got this set up here on the floor, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and screw it together. Okay, so I found where I want to mount this. Thankfully, I have not put any mud on the she rock, so I know exactly where the studs are. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is drill some pilot holes. I think six screws should hold this. We got a stud here, a stud here, and a stud here. One here, one here, one here, and one here. But we're not gonna put a screw in this one, just that wall, so. So we got it on the wall, it worked. I actually had a little bit of doubt that it was going to because I actually never measured the boards or anything. I just kind of went on a whim. My wife was telling me I probably should have measured before I actually started. So it worked out just fine. So we got six boards on here. I got two daughters. Um, I have six total daughters. Uh, so mine, my wife, 
my oldest daughter, second born, third born, fourth born, five and six haven't learned how to snowboard yet. So when they uh, learn, then they will get to come on the uh, fall of glory here. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it. Thanks.